Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 16 of 2018, amending some of the provisions of Decree 78 of 2016 regarding the reorganization of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. The Royal Decree stipulated the adding of a Directorate of Strategic Planning and Projects in the Ministry. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued law by Decree 6 of 2018 for ratification of the amended agreement of dual tax avoidance and prevention of income tax evasion signed in Manama between Bahrain and Thailand and dated the 25th of April 2017. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued law 7 of 2018 for the ratification of the aviation services agreement signed in Manama between Bahrain and Finland and dated the 27th of March 2017. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Law 8 of 2018 amending Article 47 of Law 39 of 2002 regarding the state's general budget. The amendment stipulated the replacement of Article 47 of Law 39 of 2002 specifying the quarterly reports required from the ministries and governmental directorates on their activities, financial status, progress and projects implementation. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 8 of 2018, transferring Hamad Jum'a Al Fazari as Director of Engineering and Investment Services in the Northern Governorate and Khalid Abdul Latif Hajji as Director of Engineering and Investment Services in the Southern Governorate. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 9 of 2018, appointing Ali Shubar Jawad Hassan as Director of Precious Metals and Gemstone Testing in the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the previous session's President of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, Khalid Abdurrahman Al Mu'ayyad, and the current session's elections winner, Samir Abdullah Nas, in the presence of senior officials and a number of businessmen. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government considers the Chamber a partner in achieving developmental goals, expressing confidence in the elected Board of Directors to enhance the Chamber's performance. He expressed the government's appreciation for the role of traders and businessmen in the economic march, noting the government's keenness on facilitating the private sector's contribution to the development march. The Prime Minister asserted the government's support to the BCCI's role in aiding traders and preserving their interests, <coughs> urging to support the unity of the trade decisions to increase its effectiveness. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the previous Boards of Directors' efforts and contributions to representing and supporting traders' interests. He hails the professionalism the Board of Director elections witnessed, which reflects the excellence of the organization. His Royal Highness stated that the Kingdom's economic development and progress are a result of the efforts of successive generations of traders, businessmen and investors. He asserted that the enhancing the partnership between the government and private sector represents a vital aspect of developing growth rates in all sectors. For his part, the BCCI previous sessions president commended the continuous support of His Royal Highness to the Chamber. The current sessions election winner also praised His Royal Highness's support to the commerce movement, traders and businessmen in their activities. In the framework of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's Comprehensive Development March and in light of the results of the 2017 government forum held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in which he directed to hold workshops to develop mechanisms and identify priorities that constitute the aspirations of the government's action program 2019-2022. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa held a meeting today at his office in Ghadibia Palace in the presence of Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and a number of ministers and officials to discuss policies and initiatives that constitute the aspirations of the government's action plan according to the results of the three workshops previously held. The meeting discussed the results of the workshops held in the previous months submitted to the offices of the Deputy Prime Ministers before adopting the 
them in future workshops, which will be chaired by Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak next month. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak commended the efforts exerted in this field led by deputy premiers and the organizers of the coordinating meetings, which addressed uh, the six aspects that underline the government's work program to continue working on priorities in government plans and programs. Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa inaugurated the activities of the Regional Forum on Natural Gas Pipeline Networks hosted in the Kingdom. The event was organized by the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, in cooperation with the International Gas Union, the IGU, and attended by a large number of participants. In his inaugural speech, the minister appreciated the government's support to NOGA's attracting regional and international actors to support Bahrain's National Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, led by His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The minister highlighted the constructive cooperation between NOGA and the executive committees and coordination with the IGU on international fora aimed at uh, promoting and strengthening the cooperation between the representatives of the organizations and industrial companies on natural gas. He also cited key topics related to trans to trans uh, to transnational national gas pipeline networks, welcoming Bahrain's hosting uh, this distinguished international forum for the first time. The Regional Forum on Natural Gas Pipeline Networks was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the first time today under the patronage of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The event was organized by the National Oil and Gas Authority in cooperation with the International Gas Union and attended by a large number of regional and international participants. Uh, the importance of gas is growing. It is uh, the primary source of electricity and, and water desalination. Uh, and all over the GCC, uh, the growth, projected growth in gas consumption uh, is, uh, is growing. Uh, there has been, been talks about a GCC gas grid. Uh, we, we have been successful in an electricity grid. Uh, the next initiative could be uh, a GCC gas grid. In Bahrain, uh, we have been working on diversifying our gas sources. We produce gas from the Bahrain field. We have a, a pre khuf or a deep gas discovery, which we are going to work on this year to develop. So that brings the second source of gas. And the third would be an LNG terminal that is under construction today. will be ready by the end of this year, uh, operating by next year. The participants included senior officials, experts in the industry, representatives of international organizations, governmental institutions, and oil firms operating in the region under the umbrella of the IGU. This is a very important event where all GCC uh, countries attend and exchange information and insight uh, and insights on the uh, gas developments in the region. IGC is a non-profit organization that aims for uh, developing the natural gas around the world. We have uh, uh, 85 uh, years of, uh, of uh, life and for us it's very important to gather uh, people from uh, different uh, regions to have uh, different views and exchange and discuss about uh, uh, what are the benefits and the, the most challenging items for the for natural gas. Each country currently we they have their own network and they're managing it exten extensively and the whole idea of this event is to look at future maybe requirement of interlinkage uh, of the GCC countries similar to the, uh, uh, the electricity uh, sector. Uh, Oman is already uh, somehow linked already to some uh, Gulf countries like uh, the UAE through the Dolphin uh, uh, project and uh, there is a, uh, I, I guess this, com uh, this event is uh, to look at uh, similar uh, uh, collaboration amongst the rest of the Gulf countries. We are very, very pleased that this event is hosting a number of experts and uh, officials from various countries in the world. We have uh, experts from the USA, uh, from Europe, uh, from Asia and from the Gulf as well. 
We have participation from the GCC countries, very high presentation, and we are very pleased to hold this event in Bahrain. The development of the oil industry in the region is witnessing continuous strides, and Bahrain is keeping up with the latest technological developments and applications to ensure its progress and attain the best results. Through these measures and more, the NOGO works to support Bahrain's national sustainable development goals led by His Majesty the King and aids in the progress and advancement of the country. The regional meeting on cross-border gas grids connects important players in the oil and gas sector in the Gulf with international experts and provides a platform for the exchange of information. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shoukh Mohammed. Under the patronage of the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, Bahrain Property Brokerage Expo 2018 starts today. More in this report with Hib Abdul Ghaffar. The real estate community in Bahrain celebrates the opening of the first of its kind property expo that gathers exhibitors of property developers, managers and brokers, contributing to the growth and development of the real estate sector in Bahrain. It's going to promote Bahrain as a hub for the investment in this field, which will help, hopefully, in the promoting the economy of Bahrain and strengthen its position as a, as a financial and economic center for the Gulf area. The expo aims to narrow the gap between supply and demand in the residential and commercial real estate market, serving as a platform to gather the seller and the buyer under one roof. Exposure to the Bahrain market in a number of different uh, sectors which we work in, including brokerage, uh, consultancy, relocation services, facilities and property management and maintenance services. Connecting with, with networks with real estate and with brokerage, uh, that would uh, help expand just overall the, the awareness of, of uh, real estate and, uh, and what we have to offer as, you know, as a land leaser and as a, a storage provider as well. It creates a productive platform where real estate investors and professionals can meet and interact. It was also a great opportunity for global exhibitors to reach Bahraini and GCC investors. Great way to give our company and international um, exposure to the Bahrain market. We're here to launch products um, for investment into the UK to our GCC residents and expats who are looking for opportunities for investment in the UK. Bahrain Property Brokerage Expo 2018 motivates GCC and Bahraini investors to expand or even start their careers in real estate, supporting the development of this promising sector in Bahrain. The first of its kind Property Brokerage Expo contributes to the growth and development of the real estate sector in Bahrain and provides a unique platform for sellers and buyers to meet. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffur. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Women, Hala Al Ansari, headed the delegation of Bahrain participating in the 62nd session of the Commission on the Status of Women, which is taking place at the United Nations headquarters in New York from the 12th to the 23rd of March 2018. The event was attended by high level representatives from international organizations. Al Ansari delivered a speech in which she affirmed that the Bahraini women have already overcome the stage of women empowerment and is now a main partner in development. She highlighted Bahrain keenness to continue its efforts which are in line with the agenda of sustainable development 2030 and on the basis of equality and of opportunities which resulted in closing the gap between men and women at various jobs she added that the event provides the opportunity for the member states to exchange expertise in the field of women empowerment the speech noted the important achievements made by Bahrain to the Supreme Council for women to follow up the integra integration of a woman's development needs through a national agenda that supports the stability of women and the family. In the meeting, the official opening of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women Empowerment was announced. The award targets public and private sector institutions, civil society and individual initiatives to assess the institutional and individual efforts towards activating women's advancement policies. 
Following the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 4,800 housing units to eligible recipients countrywide, the Housing Ministry said that the electronic draw on the distribution of 2,800 units located in the northern city will continue until March 31st. The Housing Ministry stated that prior to the e-draw, the beneficiaries are informed through a video presentation about the northern city and their queries are answered. Answered. The ministry stressed that the northern city is among the largest strategic projects currently carried out by the housing ministry within the 25,000 unit program included in the government action plan and emanating from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's directives to build 40,000 units. It highlighted the government's support it enjoys, noting that the government is keen to achieve the royal directives aimed at ensuring the stability of Bahraini families through harnessing all its potentials to provide them with the required requirements of a decent and stable life. The beneficiaries hailed His Royal Highness's Crown Prince orders to include the Northern City project within units to be distributed, which they said has contributed to meeting many demands. They extended sincere thanks to the leadership and the government for their interest in the citizens and keenness on providing housing services for them. The affiliates of the First Deputy Prime Minister's Fellowships Program for the Development of National Caters visited today Aluminium Bahrain Alba. The executive management hailed the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in investing in the Bahraini youth sector through the Fellowship Program, which affirms the role of youth caters in the public sector in effective participation in the development of the sector. During the visit, the affiliates were educated on Alba status as one of the largest international aluminum production companies and their valuable contributions and support to the national economy and its vital role in the international aluminum industry. Executive Vice President Ali Al Baqali and a number of senior officials have a presentation or gave a presentation on the development programs in the company, including the sixth line expansion projects, as well as the development and training programs for its employees and the company's keenness to share their knowledge and experience with students and the youth. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority held a press conference today chaired by His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa to announce the upcoming Disney on Ice shows. More in this report with Shogam Hamad. Produced by Feld Entertainment, the spectacular Disney on Ice show will be held from the 15th to the 19th of June this year at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center and features Disney's Frozen, The Little Mermaid, The Lion King and Peter Pan. The Ice show will be filled with Disney music and magic in every scene and audiences will discover four unique landscapes at the Ice show, each filled with Academy Award winning musical scores and world class skating. Having a, a, a world class event here in Bahrain attracts a lot of people, whether it's within Bahrain or within the GCC. Uh, as you know, our main uh, target market is the GCC, and therefore having a, a world-class event here in Bahrain will attract a lot of the GCC families, especially at that time. The timing of the event is during Eid al-Fitr, and that's uh, very important for us. Bahrain is, is uh, a very exciting country for us. We're very excited for bringing Disney on Ice for the first time ever here to the kingdom. We'll be bringing Peter Pan, Anna and Elsa from the uh, Frozen, uh, the Little Mermaid, and the Lion King. So we're very excited to come in. We'll obviously, you can see from behind me also, we'll be bringing snow and ice to Bahrain. That doesn't happen very often. So we're absolutely thrilled and honored to be able to be presenting here in June, uh, start, you know, this coming year. Passport to Adventure will provide the audience with an opportunity to enjoy memorable performances from their favorite Disney characters, including Simba, Timon and Pumbaa, Ariel and Sebastian, Peter Pan, Wendy and Tinkerbell, as well as royal sisters Anne and Elsa from the number one animated feature film of all time, Frozen. Disney on Ice is probably the, the, the most powerful live family entertainment experience in the world. It's got the beautiful stories of Disney with the acrobatics and style and energy of the ice skaters. It's a phenomenal event. Um, this particular show we're bringing has got content from The Lion King, from Frozen, from Peter Pan and The Little Mermaid. So there's something in there for everybody. It's fast moving, it's energetic, it's colourful and I'm sure it, it will, we will smash records in Bahrain, inshallah. I'm so excited. Lena, we grew up with Disney characters. We know the songs, we know their movements, we know their characters. Um, yeah, I mean, we're still excited. Hatta when we're, we grew up, 
we can still remember those good memories that we had when we were kids. But it's so exciting to relive those emotions again, or relive our most beautiful memories from childhood. The live performance is a highlight of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority's extensive series of events and activities that aim to attract visitors and tourists from Bahrain and the neighboring GCC countries. It also aligns with the BTEA's long-term strategy, which focuses on further developing the kingdom's tourism sector and further contributing to economic development in line with the kingdom's 2030 economic vision. Disney on Ice will have 12 live shows beginning on the 15th of June. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.